Yo, what's up guys? So today we're gonna talk about the subjunctive, right? And I'm gonna kind of break it down into a couple different parts. I'm gonna break down the problem with the way that English thinkers, English speakers think uh, versus the way native Spanish speakers think. And I'm gonna tell you a different way that you need to think about it to make the subjunctive more easy. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be super easy, but you'll have a lot less problems. You'll have a lot less doubts, right? So the first thing, I've said this in a previous video, but it's easier to make a new video than it is to like tell people to go watch an old video. I don't know why. But the way that we think and talk in English and the indicative, I'm not a grammar teacher, but whatever. The way that we think and talk in the indicative is different than the way that Spanish speakers think and talk in the indicative. So already right there, because we're on two different playing fields, when you ask a Spanish speaker like about the subjunctive, like it's not difficult to them because that's the way they talk. And they sometimes they don't realize that the way we think about the indicative is totally different to them. So a lot of beginner Spanish speakers, and I think even some low level intermediates, they get confused because in English, we don't talk in facts. We just talk and there's context. And like, if I say, I think something, that is doubtful. I wouldn't say I think unless I wasn't certain. Whereas like in Spanish, the indicative is things that you believe to be factual or certain, right? So when I say I think, creo que, that is a fact, bro. Because I think it, it is factual. So that already throws off a lot of English speakers, but it's simply because they're trying to think with their English mind and they're like, okay, well, I'm saying I think and that expresses doubt, right? I'm uncertain. So then they're trying to use the subjunctive and it's like, nah, bro, if you think it, it's a fact. If it's happening right now, it's a fact, right? So everything outside of what's happening right now and what you believe or what someone else believes to be true is probably gonna fall in the subjunctive. And today we're just really gonna keep it simple with just like, whatever the most simple form of the subjunctive is, I guess the present subjunctive. I don't know all the fancy terms and stuff, but I just know how to use it. So let's, 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 let's talk about some examples, right? In English, we have the subjunctive too. People just don't know it because like I said, when you're a native speaker, you don't have to think about stuff like that. You just talk like that. But if you can't handle it, I would say you're not as advanced as you think you are. In English, if I wanna say like, if I were you, I wouldn't do that. That's a subjunctive, right? If I were you, cause I'm not, it's just factual, I'm not you. But if I were you, I wouldn't do that. You know, so it's the same thing like in Spanish, you can say, si, si yo fuera tu, right? If I were you. But more simple than that, there's a bunch of triggers. When you're talking about wanting something from someone else, um, or asking someone to do something, like those words trigger the subjunctive. Anytime I say quiero que, I already know I'm about to use the subjunctive, right? Quiero que tu hagas esto, right? I want you to do this because you're not doing it right now. If I said, I, it's hard for me to even think the wrong way, but if I said something and I said asses, if I say asses, you're, you're doing the thing right now or you habitually do it, right? So I can't say quiero que haces esto. That doesn't make sense. Like it literally doesn't make sense because you're you're not doing it. It's something that I want you to do, right? Quiero que tú sepas, blah blah blah. I want you to know this. You don't already know it, right? You don't. Um, so that's that's one one trigger when you say quiero que él quiere que. Whenever someone wants something, it's probably going to trigger this objective, right? Also. Uh, like the word aunque, right? Kind of like even if in English or although, 99% of the time, that's triggering the subjunctive, right? Because we're talking about even if this happened or although this might happen, like you're not talking about something factual. There is a 1% of time where it can be factual, but I would say don't even think about it. Just when you say, okay, just know that you should be using this subject, uh, subjunctive. So going back to the first example, um, most of the time you already know these words, but you just don't know if you should use it or how to say it. So let's just say like, 
I don't know. Si yo fuera, si yo fuera tu marido, no me gustaría eso, right? If I was your husband, I wouldn't like that. That's right? I don't say, like, in both of those, I have to use the subjunctive because I'm saying, if I were your husband, which I'm not, so I have to use the subjunctive there, si yo fuera tu marido, no me gustaría, no me gustaría eso. I wouldn't like that. I don't say no me gusta eso because that's saying I don't like something. I'm talking about something that I wouldn't like if I was a totally different person. So I don't want to get like too deep into it. But like I said, start changing the way you think about the indicative and that's automatically going to help you with the subjunctive. Most of the time, like, people are trying to do guesswork about the subjunctive when you don't really need to guess anything. If it's something that is not happening right now, and it's something that you want to happen, or you're asking it to happen, or might happen, you're probably using the subjunctive. Oh, one last example. I'm trying to think of the stuff that people commonly say, right? So, something uh, that you will commonly hear is, like, uh, if someone asks something or tells you to do something, right? Um, you might hear someone say like, I don't know. Me dijo que dijera eso, right? Or like, me dijo que, me dijo que te lo dijera, right? He asked me, he or she asked me to tell you it. But I can't say, I gotta try to think real hard. This is why I'm like thinking. I'm thinking of how to say it the wrong way. I can't say, me dijo que te lo digo. That doesn't make sense because I'm not saying it right now. It's something that someone wanted me to say or wants me to say. You get what I'm saying? If it's happening right now, it's the indicative. If it's something you habitually do to, not to get confusing, but you know, if I'm talking about a daily routine, which is the same in English. If I'm talking about a daily routine, that's going to be the indicative because it's not, <laughs> there's no doubt or uncertainty or anything like that. I'm talking about something realistically that happens every day, right? Uh, cuando me levanto en la mañana, like when I wake myself up in the morning, when I get up in the morning, I don't have to say the subjunctive after cuando like I usually would because I'm talking about something that factually happens all the time. Any other time, if it's not something habitual and I say cuando, it's gonna be the subjunctive. Cuando pueda, cuando tu puedas, like, cuando lo hagas, like, because when you do it, it's not happening right now, right? So when you do it, when you say it, when you can, all subjunctive. Uh, Man, I feel like there's not much more I can say about this. If there's something that you want me to clear up or answer in the comments, I will. If I need to make a part two, I will. But I feel like the, what I touched on in the beginning is the most important part. It's change the way that you think about the indicative. The English indicative, the normal mood is not the same as Spanish. And once you accept that, it's gonna help you a lot. Creo que okay? is factual in Spanish. No creo que is uncertainty. And it's the opposite of English. If I well, if I say I don't think, it's like, it's the same thing as saying I think. They're both uncertain. And you use context to know like how certain I am. But in Spanish, it's not like that. No creo, no crees. They're not factual because it's not factual in your head. There's doubt, right? So. I feel like that was a lot of talking, man. Woo, tired, about to go take a nap now. Thanks for watching. Like I said, leave a comment, share, hit like or dislike. If you like, if you don't like it, dislike it, bro. I don't care, but whatever. Leave a comment if you can and I'll answer what I can. Peace, thanks.